Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. Welcome back. So this time I'm going to be doing a mix of uh, normal speed photography as well as some time lapse because I've got a lot of sculpt -a mold to put on this layout, in particular this scene over here by the bridge. So I'm going to get started on that and uh, we'll see what I can do in this video here. Well, we'll come back to uh, normal speed here for a little bit. And you can start to see with the shadows how the rock layers are going to look. You can see that with the uh, sculpt mold on, I'm picking up that direction and trend of the rocks. And in some of the sculpt mold, where I'm probably not going to put a lot of plaster, you know, I'm putting in some lines and some indications that it's going that way. You know, I'll get the rest of this done so that when I put the plaster on, I can do this whole area at one time uh, of my plaster skim coat. Not exactly all at the exact same time, but I can do a, a little area. I can carve. I can do another area. I can carve and so on and so on until I get this piece wrapped up. But every time you saw me disappear off camera, I was reloading and filling up my little container with a fresh batch of sculpt mold Now the first batches I left, I wouldn't call it chunky, but a little on the thick side. Uh, you know, it was very pliable and moist uh, so that I could press it in and get it into the, the grooves and the cracks. The last couple that I was working on, you know, just kind of in this area, uh, were to uh, be a little bit more watery, not soaking wet but a little bit wetter and then I was putting that on as sort of the top coat hiding the uh, pink foam board and what little pink foam board still kind of shows through again don't care it's going to be covered up with plaster or stain and it, you're not going to see it but you know I will get all of this area all of this area here you know and I'll do again more work around there but uh, that's kind of how it's proceeding. So what I'm going to do is I'll take some real-time videos as I'm doing a few areas here and just kind of show, you know, what I'm kind of doing and kind of talk as I'm uh, slapping plastic or sculpt the mold down. So I'm wrapping it up for a Wednesday night. I came back now and did a little bit more over here. Still got a little work to do down at the base, but uh, you know, that's gonna be covered up by other things. So this is taking shape. Again, you can see the continuation of the, uh, the rock pattern going this way through here. So I think that's gonna look good. Once I get the plaster on, I get some carving done and then stained. This should be a very interesting corner on the layout. So, I will uh, wrap it up for this evening. Tomorrow, I will come in and continue to work in here and probably start going down a little bit more. Uh, once I get behind the trestle, I'll make sure I got everything filled in, but I don't have to be as particular because you can't really see through the trestle. You get an idea of what's on the other side, but not really see it. And then I'll continue more in and around the tunnel portal. I'll kind of fill in those gaps. So quite a bit more coming. And uh, I'll show a little bit more and then I'll go into another uh, time lapse as I kind of get in maybe into this area or over here. But uh, let's see what else I can get done on this tomorrow. So still Wednesday night. <laughs> I came back out and did some more. I, anybody that's been following me for a while knows that I get impatient, but it's not really because I'm impatient. I just I just like to do this stuff. So I've got more rock work done in and around the tunnel portal. And by rock work, you know, this is still the uh, sculpt mold base. Uh, plaster will come in later. But uh, that's starting to take shape. And you can see as it's drying, the rock 
formations that are in here. Did start to put a little bit more in here to start kind of filling it in and building it up. As this dries, that'll give me the base for the additional part of the skim coat of the sculpt mold that I'll put on to kind of cover that and then the plaster will go on. All of this has been pressed into the crevices and gaps in between the others so that when it dries it acts as a nice anchor and will hold everything. So, you know, you can kind of see how that's looking from this angle. Did come in and also put in a little bit over here and a little bit over here. So I think I've mixed up another four containers worth of sculpt mold. Just kind of do a little bit more in this area and then that little bit there and then a little bit down here. Actually, maybe it was five. I don't know. One thing I have noticed is, uh, well, you can see it, you know, I can reach pretty far down into this. I, I don't know that I'm going to have enough sculpt mold to uh, finish this. This was a 25 pound box. Uh, you know, I used a lot of this on the uh, other end of the layout over in there. Now, I've gotten quite a ways already, so maybe, just maybe, I might get close. But this area down here is more intricate. This is going to take quite a bit of sculpt mold. Uh, not so much plaster down low, but sculpt mold in and around this area. Still quite a bit over here and over here. So uh, we'll see what I end up with. But uh, this is it for a Wednesday night. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday after work, I'm going to be coming out. I might take Friday off uh, and play out in the garage a little bit. I'm still keeping close tabs on uh, Mom. And those of you that seen my videos when I was in Iowa, you don't know her situation. Uh, she's never going to get better with the dementia and she's in a nursing home that's taking care of her where you know, it's where she needs to be so yeah we'll see how everything goes thursday evening is coming to a close here pretty quick notice the uh, pink foam board is less i have been working after work and i have it down to about the base so what I'm going to do is well, not do any more on this part, at least down low for a while. I'm going to come over and I am going to add sculpt a mold in and around the base, just in through this area here, in and around. Not go under it yet or towards the back. I will do that later. I'm just going to kind of get some of the facing pieces done. Uh, I'm not going to uncover until I get the uh, plaster skim coat on and carved. I'm going to let the rest of that stuff kind of fall down to the bottom. And just kind of fill in that little lower area as rubble, and I'm just going to leave it. I will stain the rubble as it's in place. Now, I did go to uh, Lowe's this evening, and I picked up uh, two more boxes of my Plaster of Paris that I use. So I use DAP Plaster of Paris. It's a non-shrink, uh, you know, quick set. Uh, it really works well for the carving piece on the layout. That stuff's getting expensive. Although I think it, actually, I think it's a little bit less than the last time. When I bought plaster to do that back end down there, it was almost $13 a box. This time, it was a little over $10 a box. Yeah, it's still a lot. Uh, for the skim coat, probably one box will get me through this area here. And then another box will get more of this and maybe some over here. So I've got like two and a half boxes left. I might be able to get everything done. And if not, you know, it's 10 bucks. I, I can go and I can buy more. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see what other mischief I can get into here. So later Thursday evening, and I'm back out doing a little bit more before I call it a day. So you can see I've started to add sculpt mold in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to rough in the shape on this piece and into here. And like I noted earlier, later when I get the... Uh, backside done more, then I will come back in and I will add sculpt mold in all of these areas uh, and kind of build it up. That'll be uh, a little bit of a process 
to get in and not make a mess, but I can do it. It'll just take a while. So like you've seen before in the videos, I just get a blob of sculpt mold on my putty knife and just put it in and press it into place. You don't have to be neat. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's a time when you can uh, just enjoy slapping this stuff on, at least for what I'm doing. You know, if you're wanting it to be smooth, you might want to make it a little bit uh, thinner texture. You know, I've got chunky, like chunky oatmeal that I can just kind of wedge into spots. I can smooth over areas. You know, I could put in some of the rough rock forms as I'm putting it in, knowing that I'll come back in later and do different things. Like that stuff's already hard. You know, the shape doesn't have to be perfect at this point. This, you're just getting it in where, you know, you're gonna have other stuff. So this won't take too long to kind of put in this area here. And if you can hear that in the background, that's the missus doing some singing in the house. And I'll just stay out here in the garage while she's doing that and have fun. <laughs> So this one, I get the plaster, you know, the rock is going this way. So there will be plaster ledges kind of coming more or less down. That way I'll be able to carve it and get the shapes that I want coming out of this. You know, all of it will reflect the overall topography of the rocks that I'm putting in. Uh, you know, I'll get it all in the way I want it. Uh, and then, you know, the plaster is where I will come in and do the final work to make the shapes fit for how I'm seeing the geology of the area here. You know, this just gives me a good sub base in which I can build off of for the next step. And again, you know, if you've seen other videos that I've done, you know, it really doesn't take long to kind of get things in shape and in form for what I'm after. And this, you see this uh, sculpt mold is already almost too dry to work made it maybe a little bit too thick. That's okay. I can get it squished in for some spots here. Bring that down a little bit more. Stuff that drops, I don't care. You know, I can work it in down at the base and anything will be hidden anyway. So that's a little bit of how I'm doing it. I will uh, show you what the finished product looks like here because I'm going to add uh, a little bit more on this side and then start to do a little bit more down there before I wrap it up tonight. Maybe another couple of tubs of uh, sculpt mold. So more to come. Wrapping it up now for Thursday night. So I've got uh, sculpt mold added to where I could easily reach using the putty knife. Uh, you can see I've got, uh, you know, kind of the sculpt mold on this. What I'll do is I'll take a damp paper towel once I get everything done and come across this and I will be able to get that powder off. That's the nice thing about sculpt mold It's easy to clean up. Uh, so when I come in for the skim coat, you can kind of see again, rock layers that mirror rock layers up top coming across here. So I'll be able to get all of this in and modeled well with uh, the uh, plaster that I'm gonna use. And that'll fill in also some of those little gaps and voids and different spaces. So it will look very different once I get it done and I get it worked. Uh, you know, start it over here. This I'll be able to just kind of take off as well once I get a little farther and it dries. So you can kind of see how that area is going to be. So I'm making some progress. And uh, I definitely am going to need more scope to mold don't have much left. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'll probably be able to get this scene right in here finished both sides. You know, I'll uh, pull up the uh, paper towel on the other side because you can see the white nubblies under there for the rock. So I just need to do this little bit. I just need to get like a paint stirrer stick so that I can put the sculpt mold back in. You know, once I'm all done, all of this is going to be covered up with rock and ground cover. So, you know, you'll see bits and pieces of the rocks coming through, but everything under the bridge is going to be pretty well covered. So uh, that's going to do it for tonight. 
and uh, we'll see what I can get into uh, tomorrow on Friday. So I've pulled the uh, paper towels off of this temporarily. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a painter's stir stick so that I can put sculpt mold on and bring it in and pack it into some of these areas in the back where I still need it and I have some gaps. And I can also use the uh, painter's stick and easily get in, flip it over, tap it in. This will all be done with uh, small batches of sculpt mold so that I don't run the threat of it uh, drying out too quickly. So I'm going to get started on that and uh, I'll show you the end results. Uh, I should be able to get this done here in a little while and once I get that completed I think that'll wrap up this video. Well, this is going to wrap up this video. So I've made good progress. Um, I've got the base of the trestle pretty well worked in. So this is roughed in. I will do uh, plaster. Probably actually start the plaster this weekend. I will cover the trestle back up and I will start just in this area here. But uh, that'll be on another video. So I'm happy with uh, what I've got done. And I do have another box of sculpt mold on order. Because this one, this one is pretty close to being empty. Maybe, maybe 10 more little cups of it. So I will use what I've got left. And I will uh, start over here a little bit. Get some of this done before I run out. Maybe a little bit up here. I'll just kind of see how, how much I've got. The other sculpt and mold, another 25 pound box will not get here until probably oh, middle of next week. Uh, but then uh, once I open that box up, boy, I'm going to have a lot of extra sculpt and mold. Hmm. Don't think I can get another big layout in here for sure. But uh, maybe something up in the office or something. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, keep having fun on your layouts. Until next time.